All right. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, what's happening? Uh, my name is Digi Onodeko, and um, this is going to be the official first episode of um, this podcast called Uncolored. And I'm doing this episode with BD. Yeah, my name is uh, Temetokwe El Shabazz, aka BD. Temetokwe El Shabazz. And I'm excited to be here. You know, being the first person, official on guest. official guest on this podcast. It's yeah, I'm honored. Yeah, it's been a long way coming. Yeah, it's been a long way. They're just such a wonderful person. So I don't know, man. I'm just the <laughs> scared ass nigga. Cause <laughs> I mean, yes. my biggest fear about putting in so much work and time into this is yeah. my biggest fear about putting in so much time and work into this is doing it and not not. It not getting as much traction as, as I would you, hope. Uh, yeah, but you never know until you try, and you know? that's why I'm really glad you know we're starting this. Yeah, and this uh, beginning of something you know wonderful. Yeah. So I guess you know the sky is just the limit from here on. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, off your head, where do you hope that? Where Where do you hope that all this could be in a year? In a year, uh, I hope that it gets bigger. I hope that you know we finally have like a form of uh Following. formal you know settings and your audience you know begin to grow with you and when you look back yeah. you you're able to you know look back and then appreciate yeah you know, the humble beginnings yeah you yeah. get <sighs> Alrighty, alrighty. Yeah. um so let's get right into it um yeah, let's do this let's do this we 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 are we are we stay in Lagos, right? Yeah. You know, this is Lekki Lagos. Yeah. Um, you kind of just finally moved into Lagos, like a yeah, few. Yeah, like fin- fi- <laughs> finally, yeah. finally. I'm excited to be here. What was the hardest part of that process for you? Uh, before now, you know, it has always been, you know, Lagos is where you know everything is is popping. You gotta come here. You have to do your shit here. And you know, I guess I'd always been scared of the uncertainty. I know. You get so I when I took the leap, it was just. I mean, like, thanks to you, thanks to Damian, you know, it, it was just like a transition that I needed, yeah. you know, to, because where, you know, Ibadan is pretty nice to be, but if you really want to be challenged, you want to challenge yourself and then yeah. grow, you have to be here. Yeah. So I think the experience has been really, really awesome. It's good to be here. Yeah. Is it anything you hoped it was going to be? Actually, I already set up my mind to expect you know whatever you know comes yeah, my almost way. the worst you get the worst it's really so random exactly so you know that puts me somewhere above the exactly yeah. above the cloud yeah. so you know if if it works fine if yeah. it doesn't you know i'm still you know grinding yeah you get, so i mean it's part of the process you just enjoy the journey you know and the process so you get i mean in the midst of everything do you ever wonder about you know finally raising the family ah uh, yeah you know i i you know we've had this conversation you know i know the answer you know <laughs> exactly. <I'm just> asking <laughs> <'cause>. <laughs> you know we we've had to discuss have this discussion over and over and over and for me personally i guess for personal reasons i would like to you know have a family of my own but isn't so traditional yeah like unorthodox because in my mind i'm like okay i could get a partner and then what we do is you know we're not labeled as married yeah you know we're just together yeah you know there is nothing like because uh, at the end of, i feel like you don't own people yeah and you know trying to start a family kind of gives that vibe. exactly it kind of gives that vibe in yeah. you having kids because the kind of mentality i have is oh we're together we're in this journey together and then if at one point in time you decide to leave or you fall out of love with me you're free to go yeah you get i mean we might work it out if it's something we can fix and then you're willing to you know go through that process of fixing it or fixing it then fine if you are not feeling that anymore i think is just okay if you ever got married what would you do what would you do differently if you ever became a father what would you do differently as to what was done with you while you're growing up oh yeah so uh you know growing up and then being a realizing that you're a creative or of some sort or you have 
you know other direction rather than traditional you know go to school get a job get a job you know get married and then so i feel like while trying to wrestle with that idea and trying to have a niche for myself outside the traditional you know norm yeah it became really tough yeah. for me because you know i was because everybody's stuck on exactly that mentality that they are well that they are, that they are aware, yeah exactly. that they know that they're so, familiar with exactly so i'm like okay so it was something that my family weren't used to you know they were like just living really this simple life you know the old formation yeah the process and then so when i decided to you know take a turn it became like a you know tug of war like you cannot do that mm. you can't do that's this, not this that's not how it's done especially Shuri, you know, Omar 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 exactly yeah. comparing me to yeah. you know other kids and then i'm like i mean like i've come to a realization that i'm a human being i'm not a robot you yeah. can't just you know like you have a mind of your own and you're constantly battling that concept in your head yeah like should i go for this is this safe and then sometimes i feel like uh less road traveled is usually the well best. they'll say the, the um the road less traveled is less traveled for a reason um but the truth is a lot of times the reason why it is less traveled is simply fear yeah exactly and, and exactly a lot of the times concept is usually driven by fear yeah it's usually driven by fear and sometimes on the other side of fear is a huge you know huge success mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. uh, if i reckon mm -hmm. with if i reckon with you know my own experience as well it's a lot of don't do it because nobody's doing it yeah yeah um don't do it because not a lot of people have succeeded, have succeeded exactly but i remember always telling my pips back when i was younger and you know trying to make this seemingly very heavy decisions mm -hmm. um that can they see that there are people who go and become engineers and are successful. Yeah. And there are people who go and become engineers and are not successful. successful exactly. They're successful doctors and not successful doctors. Exactly. In the same vein, they are successful entertainers, mm -hmm. unsuccessful entertainers, exactly. successful comedians. So, it, it, so it's you. Yeah. Like I'm the factor. Yeah, exactly. So what you should be inspiring me to do exactly. is to be an excellent person so Ex I can replicate it in whatever Ex I then decide Ex to exactly. do. Exactly, exactly. But what they are aware of, what looks like excellence for them is a first class in engineering, a mm -hmm. first class in law, mm -hmm. highest graduating students, mm -hmm. collecting awards. But at the end of the day, those things don't pay the bills. And no matter how great your result is, your academic result is, you know, the amount you want, the scholarships that you have back, yeah if you cannot pay the bills you don't count but the second stage is now not just paying the bills but be happy while doing it doing exactly and that's exactly. the premium that's the one that goes yeah for the I, I used to say something like if i'm going to because i actually do not like working i know but if i'm Demian going to do but if i'm going to do something that i i gotta love it i you get like i have to love it if i'm going to be miserable for the rest of my life it has to be something that i actually like it. you, you got is you get I mean, like i'm making a hundred percent decision this is what i want to do it's yeah. hard but i know that okay yeah. at least i enjoy it i remember that uh, a, a lot of people see me on my in my personal life mm -hmm. know me personally and then see me in my workspace and cannot necessarily marry the two personalities because yeah. in my personal life I'm like, like I'm like really laid back, really laid, exactly, lazy, exactly. You know. And then your work, you but get into this character. And then in my workspace, I'm not doing it out of necessity. Yeah, I'm doing it out of. I don't want to say ease, but ease only because mentally it's easier for me to decide to. Yeah, mentally it's easier for me to sit here and say i have to go to abuja and make a video mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. stand up and take my bath yeah yeah it's easier you. it's easier to mentally decide exactly. to exactly. body plane exactly to go to abuja than go to the kitchen and make food for myself to eat mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that means my 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 mental capacity is or or my mentality is excited yeah at the thought of this kind of work your interest my interest that's exactly the word. and then i'm now making money from it i'm able to make a living from it i'm able to survive from it i'm able to, able to inspire people from that it. that makes it you know a cherry on top i don't like, pick being the ceo of a civil engineering company over what i do right now exactly exactly you you enjoy a certain freedom and a certain uh level of ease because apart from the fact that you're working for yourself you dictate the terms yeah you get 
And, and at the end of the day, I want to look back at my life and know that I did not regret anything because I chased, I chased um, security. Mm. As against chasing my dreams. Because mm. at the end of the day, no matter how secure I am right now, mm. no matter how, you know, sorted it seems like my life is, I'll still die. Yeah. I'll still one day lay on a deathbed and think back at the things that I did and wonder if I could have done anything differently. Yeah, yeah. So no matter how secure I might feel, right? Fulfillment is is seemingly a more important necessity than exactly just being, than just being exactly exactly exactly. I want I want to ask you a question though. Yeah. When did it click? You know, that okay, you like I said, you know, you've you are you are in the entertainment industry you've been a manager for this you've worked on it you've uh written a book uh <laughs> don't quite you know you've done <laughs> quite a lot and now you are a uh you're an influencer manager which not so many people are into right now it's like you looked into the industry and you said this is what you need yeah and then you know it clicked I, I just want to know when did the light you know switch on and then you're like exactly this is what i want to do with my life okay so i'll try i'll try try to go all the way back i think for start the light flickered a lot mm -hmm. but it was more on than off because since i was a kid I, I i i began to notice that i was more of a socially present person mm -hmm. than a logically present person yeah right i'm terrible with math um, you know, a friend came around today and they realized how terrible my memory is. <laughs> like anything that has to do with too many logic, I'm not yeah. so, so great at it, but yeah. if it has to do with human interactions, social interactions, I'm a legend at yeah. it, right? Um, but maybe when I was seven, eight, what do you want to become? You know, whatever. Engineer, okay, fine, I'll decide I'll be an engineer. But I was eight years old, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, they begin to ask me which type of engineering. I'm like, oh God, I have to decide on the type now. <laughs> You know, um, then he's, I'm like, which one is my dad? My dad is a civil engineer. So, oh, great. I'm going to be a civil engineer. I understand yeah, I made this decision when I was less than 10 <laughs> exactly. years old. Yeah. Right? Uh, I'm going to school. I'm doing terribly at science courses. I'm doing greatly at social science courses, mm -hmm. right? Um, in my se senior secondary school, too, I told my mom that, you know what? I want to change school, go study as one somewhere else as a social science student. Because mm. um, then I only entered science because being a science student was cool and well, i know yeah. a lot of people in my generation can relate mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, i think it's kind of better now deaf, deaf, yeah but then being a science student was the people cool more, shit you know, open-minded now see how i think that's really dumb though yeah yeah i think, I think that's so. really dumb that i mean that anybody allowed that mindset sink into their school system as a school owner as an ex ex as a exactly. headmistress as a teacher exactly that being one exactly. being a one facet was cooler than uh -huh. the other uh -huh. i think it's exactly. really dumb it's just you know as in like like there's a story yeah like because which is like similar to yours but not not exactly uh, when i was going to like going to senior year and then i came home and i'm like okay i don't know if i i should you know go in go into sciences or maybe arts yeah and since you know knowing my brother who was the only guy in you know he did science uh and he was like, guy, no, no, they do that, or no, they reason that. Can you, like, now me and you go do this thing, you know, I did science, you said go science with the two holy boys in the house, blah, blah, blah. I am so you embarrassing. Know, you get, and you know, I, I, it was probably after graduation that I realized that, oh shit. It was three wasted years of my life. Exactly. Oh and, shit. And what's crazy about mine is even at a young age, I was ready, you know what it means to say you want to repeat a class? Yeah. I was ready to not just go back exactly. to, to repeat my senior secondary mm -hmm. school. I was ready to repeat my senior secondary school one, but fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, you know, the story is huge. If you want to, if you want to have great insights on, you know, that part of my life, just go check my book out. Journey to Self is on Kada Books. Yeah. On my IG, just check through my, my bio um fantastic read i have a chapter there called the importance of school and i explained this because mm. a lot of people think that because of i dropped out yeah i would be an advocate of school is a scam school. i don't think school is a scam i don't <laughs> i don't i think that education is really important mm -hmm. but then mm -hmm. um don't limit education to the four walls exactly right exactly. i'm not i'm not even telling you the exactly. four walls is a scam it's not a scam exactly. not. but don't limit it to the four walls exactly. right that's what the entire chapter was about mm -hmm. but then fortunately for me i get into school i'm studying engineering i'm struggling i'm studying so hard mm -hmm. yet i'm struggling there's this strike like there is now but ours was um i think these strikes are worse though yeah um then I, I i go home i'm watching tv one day i'm bored i'm with my younger sister and i'm like and i'm watching teddy baby face and i'm like i can do what teddy's doing right 
Yeah. It was a talk show. And my sister yeah. was like, mm, okay. My sister was maybe 12 then. She's done with school now. And I'm like, I'm going to go into any radio station tomorrow and then try it. And just start my own intern. Man, that story is long. <laughs> it's really long and adventurous. Really long but work. to cut long story short, mm -hmm. I get into internship with, you know, Cool FM. Yeah. Um, and I think my life changed. Yeah. Imagine struggling to be barely average for mm. several years as a science student mm. and then entering a space where everybody sees you as a as a genius. Yeah, exactly. It, it was I a feel you. Yeah, yeah, it was a very I feel you. It was a life changing. I remember yeah. walking home those days because I didn't have money for transport to go to Cool FM, all that. I remember walking home sometimes and I'm in tears. And I'm crying and I'm 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 being really honest. I'm walking home and I'm crying and my like, God. So there's something special about for me. me. I, 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 I can relate. So can so relate. you've you've actually so miss in yeah, me no. Oh, I gifted. You know how you're you sitting in the crowd, they are you calling get. best in this, best uh -huh, in that. Uh -huh. You're used to and not having any expectations. Exactly. It's just so much to accept. Yeah. At that at the point, instance. like at the instance, like I so you don't you, you get what like, I mean? You become so So I remember I went back to school. I went back to school, weird, weird shit. Some new radio station started. Everybody recommended me to the to the to the owners of that station. I got on radio, and I knew that I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to struggle. For a while, it was cool that people meet me when they talk to me. Blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And they say, "What are you studying?" I'll say engineering. <laughs> and I say, oh, "Wow, you don't even look like an engineering student." It was cool. <laughs> Like you need to actually have a look. <laughs> yeah, you know, like you don't even look like it was cool that people people had to struggle with to believe that I'm an engineering student because they were like, oh, yo, ah, you don't even blah. blah. And so you you have to know that the fact that it was cool was one of the reasons why I struggled to cross. Exactly. Because I don't want to lose that exactly that bit of surprise that everybody got. I mean, when they I met feel me. like the 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 funny thing is like people were people were able to even look at you and say, this guy this guy can't be an engineer. Like. Student. That's, that you should know, even be a you pointer. Yeah, this should even be a pointer. And then deep down, you know, at the back of, you know, that persona you were keeping up is, I'm actually not I'm actually to be not, not to you be get. Yet. <laughs> Not yeah. yet. So you are right anyway. Yeah. You are right anyways. <laughs> you know that feel. Um, so I remember, I, I told myself I'm done here. I dropped mm -hmm. out of school. I remember how I even dropped out. Um, I had tried to cross, you know, my HOD, I said, my GP is not low enough. I crashed the GP. My HOD looked me in the face and said, yo, I crash your GP to tomorrow. The only way you can change department is if you write jam uh, uh, and i wonder how ruthless anybody can be i'm struggling here like they yeah. know me i'm such a functional student yeah that's the, that's the point right mm -hmm. i wasn't an absent student yeah you were I was really, really involved i'm studying i'm coming for classes i'm doing the project mm -hmm. and i was obviously struggling because i don't belong here yeah i was so functional that my lecturers knew me as one of the most functional mcs on campus yeah, yeah. do you understand like yeah, they exactly. were ah, they uh, and I don't know whether it was a thing of pride that because the department is not a lot of people of that type. Socially smart people came from that space. So mm -hmm. I don't think, it, I, I don't know if it was a thing of pride to say, oh, your eyes in our department. I don't know yeah. if that was, that was the reason why they didn't want to let me go. But it was, it was a huge struggle, right? And I remember I entered the class that day, it was time for exam. And I walked into the exam hall and I entered it. My classmates started making jokes of, making jest of me. Mm -hmm. Ah, we will do, we need party do, <laughs> we will do. And I sat down, I'm just thinking to myself, like, at this point, I'm special. Mm -hmm. I'm not special out of pride. I'm special because it's something I'm good at. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. They dropped answer sheets. And I thought to myself, again, I'm going to have to start begging somebody for answers. Yeah. I'm going to have to start. And I'm beyond that in the space that I'm good at. Yeah, like, because like, cause now you have this total power. Yeah. And I, you can reach it. Yeah, like, I don't need to struggle this. Like, mm -hmm. I just want to meet my class after. You know what? I'm out. And I'm not coming back for academic purposes. Those are my exact <laughs> words. I'm out. And I left. And then she began to call me. The lecturer is calling me there. That I should please come back. I should just write the exam. I'm like, like I, I think I'm just a really crazy human. Yeah. I'm like, I'm done. I'm out. Yeah. And that was it. Wow. Wow. That was it. And Eyes has been on the price. All Ever I'm trying since. to do um, is make this work. Understand that a lot of times I wonder how I be, how I be achieving results. Mm -hmm. You know, um, um, I feel like I'm I'm super lazy. I feel like uh, I'm winging it. Yeah. I feel like I, I don't have I, it all. Sorted aren't out. we all? Yeah, aren't we all really? <laughs> but one day at a time, really. And so long as 
it has your deepest passions rooted in it exactly it, it, it would always it, come up with you know results. it makes it makes the right you know worth yeah. what the journey what to the be journey fair. exactly but at the end of the day we keep it going um i know that i've also sacrificed a lot mm -hmm. of my in front of the camera persona yeah um to be behind the camera yeah just so that you know i could I could uh, make ends meet ish, even though ends never meet. Mm -hmm. And I miss being the guy in front of the camera. Yeah. I miss being that guy. So I know I'm more, people are more familiar with me as the back end guy now. As exactly. The influencer manager, exactly. As the, exactly. You know, as the I mean, producer, like what, as the you know, director. Yeah. How does, how does it feel now, you know, s starting this podcast? I, I feel really good. I'm, I'm yeah. scared. I'm scared because it's not mm. the best shit I'm starting that I'm not seeing through. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. So I, I can relate with this in so many you know, yeah. levels. Yeah. It's not the first that I'm starting. I'm not saying true, and I don't want to not see this true. Yeah. Um. I have a lot more influence now, yeah. so I can carry a lot more people along now. So yeah. there's a lot more at stake than it used to be back in the day, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, um. But I'm also really hopeful. Yeah. That this is going to break it break out yeah, as organically yeah, as possible yeah, yeah let let this break out yeah let this break out please <laughs> and my priority always is to inspire um inspire people to really just do themselves yeah right i believe that everybody god has blessed everybody with enough capacity mm -hmm. um to be of value to themselves yeah and my prayer is that people are going to connect yeah. with that person yeah that is inside of them mm -hmm. that can do mm -hmm. it I mean, the, well, uh, does the name, you know, Uncolored. Yo, show. Make a conversation. Yeah, I swear, it's, it's perfect. Well, say it as it is. Mm -hmm. I want to, I want to, I remember that we, we, with, with, with interviews, especially with conversations, I, in my interview days, I used to always leave every, you know, personality or celebrity that I interview in awe of the kind of conversations we end up having. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember talking to Brian Moore and asking him very weird questions like, uh, is he scared of death? You know, um, <laughs> has he cheated on his wife before? You know, and very intense questions. And by the time we're done, you know, he asks, is the mic off? I mean, is the camera off? I'm like, yeah. He looks at me and says, this is the best interview he's had in five years. Wow. You know, so understand that those things wow. haunt me. Yeah. The fact that I have that capacity and I'm yeah. doing nothing about exactly. it. Exactly. Only because exactly. I'm trying to pay bills. I don't think it's worth it. Exactly. So where I am right now is I'm, I'm, I'm a bit at peace that everything has come together, mm -hmm. you know, to make this easier for me. Everything mm -hmm. came together, to be fair. Yeah. Right? Um, from the apartment to you being available to, you know, my friends being supportive to, mm -hmm. you know, me having a gadget to make this video and everything has come together organically as possible. Mm -hmm. So I hope I can keep doing that. Yeah, I watched the video last really night. Also. Five things I wish I knew before I started a podcast. Somebody was saying, and one of the things is that the traction is going to be slow in growth. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, I think I know enough. Like, so you're mentally to slow prepared this down. Uh, yeah, for this. I think I know, I know enough to not slow this down. So I'll keep it going as much as possible and hopefully that um, something great comes out of you it. Know, yeah. I hope, I, I hope so too. Basically, con, you know, consistency. So. Yeah. By the way, BD is the designer of this couch. I mean, of this table. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you guys are going to be seeing a lot of stuffs on these sets that is know. done by Hef. Yeah. <laughs> what does Hef mean again? F H E P H. Uh, Hef uh, was, you know, gotten from, you know, a the name of a Greek god, yeah. Festus. Like Hef Festus. Yeah, that's like the god of craftsmanship build some mad ass very weapons for the gods you get so straight up if you see their works you understand probably videos will be playing on this while we're having this conversation well mm -hmm. while it's um, when i'm mm -hmm. putting it in post yeah so that's that's basically it all right ladies and gentlemen that's about um what might be the first episode of uncolored well, uh, yeah this is you know this is this is this is, uh, this is great uh, this is great the sky is just you know the limit for the sky is not even the limit it's the universe is so, point, it's so big yeah universe like, is so big know, it's, it's just a starting point one day we're going to talk about the size of the universe oh yeah yeah oh yo, maybe with him yeah def <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to like convince him yeah and we have a live audience mm -hmm. here by the way chop live gang <laughs> see you chop live gang ladies and gentlemen this is strictly <laughs> on our phone bro. <laughs> Catching our own cruise. You know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, that's about it. Um, see you on the other side. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Feel free to give us feedback about Do how that. you think this looks. Um, um, and encourage us as much as you can. Yeah. And we also take um, financial gifts. Thank you. Thanks and God yeah, bless. Very important. Pronto. <laughs>